Hey, what's up guys? I've got kind of a surprise uh, unboxing here for you. This is, um, as you can see in the front here, I have the Big Trouble in Little China uh, Scream Factory or Shout Factory uh, release. And this is, I forgot I ordered this version. I thought I just bought the regular collector's edition, but this is the correct collector's edition plus the vinyl and the poster. And I forgot I ordered that. I thought I ordered just the regular edition. In fact, I initially ordered the... Um, Edition that includes this and the steel book and that love that um, lithograph, but I realized I don't need two versions, two copies of the of the uh, the movie, and I didn't need I don't need the litho either because you know I still have a bunch of those that I haven't put anywhere. So I guess I reordered this one instead and I saved a little bit of money. But uh, this is actually a really cool looking box. It's a thick um, thick cardboard, sort of like a lot of the sets they come in, and it's got a picture of the truck on the front. And this is, like I said, it's big, big Trouble Little China. I have not seen this film in a while, actually. I used to really like this film. I haven't seen it in at least three or four years. I mean, I, I watched it on TV a couple times, more casually. But uh, this actually releases on, like, the, th the, the third, I think. So it's a little early to be getting. Today's the 21st, Thursday. And uh, got it pretty quickly. There you go. That's the, and it's kind of a, it's not exactly embossed or anything, it's just a design in the front. A little shiny. Kind of cool. It's very nice. I got a couple little bit of stains right here, you can tell. I don't know what that is, but it's not like it's a big deal. So here's the little vinyl. This is a 7-inch vinyl, I believe. And it has the same image in the front, with Big Trouble in Little China on, on the bottom here. And then it has um, just two um, tracks on it. It's got... Side A is Pork Top Express, Big Trouble in China, and then Side B is The Alley War. Composed by John Carpenter, performed by John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter, and Daniel Davies, mixed by John Spiker. And I think it's green, a green vinyl. Yeah, it is. Okay. Don't really need to, I mean, whatever, I guess. There's Side A. And there's Side B. So that's a 45 RPM. Whatever you call that. I don't know a lot about vinyls, but I'm, I don't think I don't own any of this size. That's kind of cool, though. Nice little collectible. Like, although I didn't really need it exactly, I just figured I want. I was curious how big the box would be and whatnot. So I figured, why not? Hold on, now. Let me get this back in the, the um, sleeve here. I don't like this because I don't want to end up touching it. Sorry, I'm doing something else over here now. Come on, you dumbass. There we go. This goes back in here, like that. <laughs> that's the little vinyl. That's the only thing that's special with this specific version, and the, the box, obviously. And there's the film that's just kind of inside there. Oh, there we go. That's the, thing put the, oh, that's the box, which is kind of cool. Put that back here for now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, that's right. I remember reading about this. It does not say collector's edition at the top here, which all of them have said that. And for whatever reason, this one does not. So I don't know what's going on with that, but that's not like it's a huge deal to me. It's just kind of weird. Um, where's my thing? There it is. <clears throat> I like the design in here too. I was collecting all of the John Carpenter on um, steel books for the longest time, but I just kind of I like this design a little more personally. I think it's really cool. Well, this here, what's this? Is that? I don't know what that is. It's just kind of like white in the bottom there. It says collector's edition there. That's kind of weird. Is that a mistake? Odd. Hmm. Well, doesn't really matter. I gotta open this one now. Okay, you can give me a look to see what they have with you on here. Hold on. It says in the back here a wholly enjoyable mixture of action, comedy, romance, and horror. That's true, actually. Disc one. 
It's a two disc set. Well, actually, I'm going to take a look at it real quick. There's disc two bonus features and disc one the feature film. And it does have alternate artwork there. Which I will change because I've got that on the um, slipcover, so. There we go. Very cool. That's cool. Big Trouble in Little China. Let's take a look at this because it's not as glary. Uh, so, disc one, a uh, new audio commentary. What, well, no, excuse me. Yeah, a new audio commentary with uh, producer Larry Franco. New audio commentary with special effects artist Steve Johnson. And then the old audio commentaries, I saw the score. I'll treat those usual shit. And disc two is new interviews with act actors Dennis Dunn, James Hong, Peter Kwan. Daniel Lee, associate producer, martial artist, and all those people and more. And I think that's it for new stuff. Otherwise, it's the regular stuff we've gotten. Interview with John Carpenter, Kurt Russell, Storm Channel, with Dean Cundy, Feature Ad, Lead Scenes, Music Video, Gag Reel. The usual stuff. This is from 1986, yep. 20th Century Fox, P13. Color illustration by Laz Marquez. I like it. I like the design. I, I'm actually, I'm interested in getting the poster in, um, at a frame. I actually have a couple frames I'm not using right now, and I've got a bunch of posters that I've just kind of been waiting to put in a frame. And um, I like the design of this one, so I'm going to definitely use this one. Very cool. Regular slip cover, though, nothing special. All blurry. So, yeah, very cool. And like I said, I'm surprised I got this this early. It's usually not this quick that I get these. But, um, I'll take it. I guess I could look at the, um, the poster here. Hold on. But it looks exactly the same, so it's not like it's a big deal. Or it should look like it's the same. Hold on. Let me get this open here. But this is actually kind of wrapped inside. That's that's not normal for these. There we go. John Carpenter's Beach of the Whoa. But you get the idea. Very cool. Cool artwork. Nice. All right. I had initially planned on making an unboxing of this because I just you know. Yeah, plan that up. But this came so early, I figured, well, if anyone else is on the fence about it, they can still, I think there might, well, actually don't know. There might be a few posters of this left. If you get the bigger set, I think there probably are. But um, there's still, there are multiple sets you can buy. The regular collector's edition by itself, the steel book, the, this version with the, um, this vinyl case, and then the bigger version that has everything here, plus the steel book and uh, lithograph, which I, I don't know if they're all sold out yet. I don't, I doubt it. But, we, but because that was more expensive, it was like 70 bucks or more, 75 bucks, so a little bit steep for me. But um, if you're looking for the posters and stuff, I think the, the, the regular version didn't have it and the regular steelbook, the litho's gone too. But you have to buy these versions to get the posters if you're interested in that. If you're not, then who cares? Anyway, I guess I'm yammering on. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. And it's just about Black Friday, and I'm hoping you're all going to have a nice uh, holiday season. Thanksgiving's just around the corner, and it's going to be a nice couple of weeks, I think, for uh, movie buying and stuff. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing some videos from everyone else, and I hope everyone has a nice holiday season. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.